Hey YouTubers, it's me, Kathy, checking in with another YouTube vlog. If I sound a little snuffly, it's because I'm getting over a cold. And here's a list of 20 things people should stop doing that are, or 20 things people over 20 should stop doing. It's by a guy named Jared Wilson. I'll put a link in the description. Alright, so number one, playing games instead of looking, video games instead of looking for a job. Sure, they're fun, but those games can take up a lot of valuable time spent on more important areas of life. Number two, spending money you don't have. If you have a credit card, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But credit cards seem may seem like an easy way to pay for things, but in the long run, they could really hurt you if not properly used. Stick to cash, debit, or checks. This may seem old school, but they will definitely help you manage your money. Using the term YOLO, if you don't know what YOLO means, it means... I think it means you only live you only live once. But please just just stop. Stop doing it. Only going to church to find a relationship. And that one that one I when I do go to church it's definitely not to look for a relationship. It's for when I'm at home and I go because out of habit. But um yeah, he says not only will you hurt yourself in the long run, and he spelled run wrong, but whatever, you will also be selfishly taking time away from a man or woman who is seeking after God's word, wisdom, and guidance. For me, yeah, 90% of my church is really old people and they're already married, so whatever. Citing Google on a college paper or work presentation. I've never done that. I think that sounds kind of funny, and if you've done it, well, you could get in trouble because you need an actual credible site. Just like if you use Wikipedia as a source, I will frown upon you because I'm an English major, so, yeah. Number six, thinking you know it all. Oh, this one I think I've been kind of guilty of because I, I feel... I've gotten into plenty of arguments about it, but what he says is nobody wants to spend time around a know-it-all. Walk in a pot, walk in a posture of learning, and embrace every opportunity to gain new knowledge and wisdom. Yeah, as education, I think you should. Everybody should be lifelong learners. <laughs> Number seven, dating with no vision. You're confusing your heart and hurting your hurting the hearts of others. I think what he means by that is. Just kind of dating to date, not like dating to find a um, husband or wife or whatever. Uh, number eight, demanding respect before you've earned it. Definitely seen this with many, many people thinking, especially like people who aren't necessarily 20, but people who are like 18 who think that just because they're an adult now that they deserve all kinds of respect, but they don't. He says, don't be prideful. Learn to scrub the floors before you ask to manage the building. Yeah, that I, I feel like that goes a long way with some people. Don't expect to get a decent job right off the bat. You might have to scrub a few floors. With me, when I worked at Disney for the college program, I did custodial. I thought it was going to be awful. It was some days, but most days it was worth it. But... I think if I end up going back, I definitely want to try something new just to expand my horizons. And then if I make it a full-time career, like I, I only do Disney from now on, then I will probably end up um, trying to work my way up the ladder. But I will start with scrubbing those floors, please. And besides, people think that they're so privileged nowadays, thinking, oh, mommy and daddy have so much money and I have them so totally wrapped around my finger. Well, go to the School of Hard Knocks and learn a thing or two. Okay, number nine, waiting until you're done to, with school before paying off your loans. Waiting to pay off your loans until school is over might sound great, but in the long run, you're going to wish you had started sooner rather than later. Huh, that's good, and I'm definitely guilty of that one. I'm waiting until I know I'm definitely out of school to start paying off my loans, or at least until I have the money to start paying off my loans. I'm getting into arguments over social media. 
Oh, especially when it's grammatically incorrect. I hate how people say something and then it starts a debate, even if it's even if it's something that that's not that important. I know one time I wrote something on my Facebook and then two people started or a couple people had started an argument on my feed and it wasn't even to start a debate. Like I had literally written in in the status this was not meant to start an argument. This was just my opinion about something. And those two people took it way too far. But he says, nobody wants to see drama on your newsfeed. Keep it to yourself and the people involved. Handle each situation in a mature and honorable manner. 11. Blaming others for your own mistakes. I've probably done this before, and if I have, I apologize to those people. But everyone does it. Drop your pride, accept your failures, learn from your mistakes. You will learn a lot from the process. True that. Number 12. Relying on your mother and father will, to always bail you out of trouble. Uh, I feel like that kind of goes with the one I said earlier about how pe kids have are grown up. About how they're oh so privileged nowadays that they can rely on their mom and dad. Well, no. Not necessarily. My mom helps me out because I, because she wants to, not because I ask her to. Learn to take care of yourself instead of always relying on your mother and father. They are always going to be around to help you. 13. Calling off work for no reason. This one I think is ridiculous because if, if I have the day off and somebody calls in sick for whatever reason and they're not sick, I want to smack you in the face because then that means that they call me at like they would call me at like six in the morning when I was working at Disney and being like so and so or we need somebody to come in and work. It's like well, no, it's my day off or I work later in the day, so no. And he says you aren't doing anyone a favor by calling off. Learn to be responsible and value that job someone else in the world wishes they had. An example of number thirteen. One day I was, I think I had like a really bad cold at Disney. Like, I, I ended up wearing a winter jacket because I was closing that night. And I had, I was shivering. I had, I, I'm sure I had a fever. And I just felt awful. But I did not go home. And then one time I had a major toothache. Or something going on in my mouth where it was, my mouth was just hurting like the dickens i tried to get an er as i was working they wouldn't give it to me because that's just how disney works they want everybody to be there and yeah i suffered through that day but if that had happened before i had gone to work yeah i probably would have called off but it happened during work so there wasn't much i could do about it except try to get an er which didn't happen <laughs> and an er for those of you who don't know it's an early release Number 14, ignoring wisdom from people who are older than you. Oh, I've tried giving advice to younger kids and they just kind of blow me off, but I'm sure one day they'll be like, oh yeah, so-and-so told me this, and I'm sure we've all been guilty of it, 20-something-year-old people trying to learn things from your grandparents or whatever. And... He says, you don't know everything. Take the time to learn from people who have been living longer than you. Also true. 15. Take, thinking minimum wage is worse than jo no job at all. For me, who can't find work? Yeah, I would take a minimum jo wage job in a heartbeat. And besides, case in point, Disney internships don't pay that much a week because they take, if you're through the college program, they take out your housing and depending on how much housing you get, or how much you have to pay for your housing, that usually means you're not going to have a whole lot of money left to spend. And you get paid weekly, so... Do the math. <laughs> uh, he says, don't believe the lie that money is everything. Any job is a good start. Give your full attention to any job, no matter the pay. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you're working at McDonald's, because eventually one day you might be working in a major, major company or something. Number 16, pretending like you don't know any better. 
Purposeful ignorance will only get you so far. Own up to your mistakes and take each failure as an opportunity to learn. Yeah, exactly. Don't ignore things around you. Use those mistakes and get better as a person. For number 17, I think it's true. Using the excuse, I'm too young. For one, you're not... Once you're in your mid-twenties, you're not that young anymore. You're starting to get a little bit older, and it's scary. But he says, you're never too young. There's always room for you to succeed when hope is on your side. Have faith in yourself and gifts, and the gifts that God has given you. So use your talents to better yourself. Number 18, living in the moment instead of planning for the future. This one's also true in the sense that he says, be diligent and plan for the future. Give yourself some goals, dreams, and future aspirations. Give yourself something to wake up to at four in the morning. So if you're so if you're in a job right now and you don't like it, well, maybe you should start looking for a job that you do want and would enjoy waking up to every morning because if you're not waking up and and giving yourself a reason to wake up in the morning, well, You need to reconsider your life. Number 19, giving up before you stop, or start. Stop making excuses. Excuses won't get you anywhere. Better to try and fail than to get, never regret. Try, never trying. At least you will learn something. (laughs) Yeah, try doing different things. And they, you might learn some new experiences. Like, I am not good with heights. This summer, I conquered, tried to conquer that fear, and I went on our high ropes course at summer camp, and I managed to go all the way down the zip line, and then I realized that I forgot to sign the the forms that I needed, but I signed them, and it was all good. <laughs> um, and number 20, being passive. If you don't stand for something, eventually you will fall for anything. No one is perfect, and these points are all things I have given myself to struggle with or been witness to, and that's from Jared Wilson, and I think, and he's a husband, pastor, author, blogger, a gospel-sharing misfit. I yearn to share Christ with the world. I didn't realize he was a pastor, but it's still a very good thing to do, and like I said, I will put the description down, or the link down in the doobly-doo as the green brothers say and yeah i think that's about it so i think i'm gonna peace out so ttyl